I am over this woman's bullshit. <laughs> I've just seen this come up on my Instagram, you know, from people's stories that, you know, our favourite person in the world, Evan Rachel Wood, has decided to just spin the entire abortion narrative. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, when Colonel Kurtz did her interview with Manzin a few months ago, I think it was, he basically revealed that Evan was pregnant with another man's child and during the time that she was engaged to Manson, she was, when she was filming Mildred Pierce in June 2010, she had an abortion and he was there for her uh, throughout that entire time. Like you, you went because, you know, he cared about her because that's the kind of person he is. But now, because she's realised that oh shit, some people actually are speaking out against me. Let's make up this narrative and bits that other people just don't see. So basically what she's gone ahead and said is that she had the abortion and he just didn't care about the aftermath of it, that he was just demanding things from her, getting her to make him dinner, all this bollocks. You know, it, she's pushing her. She's, she, she's pushing it. <laughs> she's pushing it, Brenda. Like, she just doesn't stop. She doesn't stop one bit. And I just wanted to film this because your know, Manson's just filed this bloody lawsuit. Like, you're not gonna get very far with this anymore. People are starting to not believe her, which is nice. Now, Evan can say what she wants. We all know that she came up with this stupid narrative once Manson's interview came out. I think we can just safely agree on that. Can't we? Can you agree? I... I think this woman is abysmal. I genuinely do. I think Evan Rachel Wood and Ilma Gore are abhorrent excuses for human beings. I don't think either should have a social platform at all in any capacity whatsoever. Um, but she can, she can, you know, drop this in the media. People are going to eat it up because everyone loves Evan Rachel Wood. That's a lie. Need I go on? Believe all women. Look at Marilyn Manson. He's a scary dude, he's satanic, he's from the 90s. Shut up. It's just, it's made me so angry. <laughs> I've only just come in. I've been studying all day. I've come back to this. So, you know, it's... <laughs> I'm sorry, Evan. The truth's out now. And it's not yours. You're not telling the truth. You know, the person who was telling the truth was Manzin in his interview. But... No, let's just, let's just keep pushing it. I don't even know what else she could say now. But she knows she's been, she knows she's fucked up. She knows that she's been caught and she knows that what people are saying is true. Do you know, she knows Manzin was telling the truth. She knows that Zach was telling the truth. She knows that Paula was telling the truth. She knows that Leslie is telling the truth. And all these people have a much stronger personality, intellect, and sense of morality than you will ever have, Evan. Because those people don't set out to destroy somebody just because they feel like they can. Well, let me tell you something, you haven't destroyed Marilyn Manson one bit. I'm sure when you found out about this lovely lawsuit, I'm sure you just shit yourself. <laughs> But I suggest that you cease while you're ahead, because otherwise, like your lovely little lapdog, Ilma Gore, you're gonna start digging yourself a deeper hole. You're not some innocent, sweet child. But you notice that she never said anything about having an abortion before Manzin said anything, because she wanted to hide the fact that she was not this pure, innocent little daffodil, untouched, pure being. She got pregnant by somebody else and had an abortion. Some people out there are gonna twist my words. I am not against abortion. Do what the fuck you want. What I am against, however, snaky, horrible, conniving, pathological liars taking that experience and using it to hurt somebody. You know, it, it, you know, think of him as a, a human, do you? Like, at all. I'm, I'm speaking to Evan. But you don't see him as a human at all. You see him as a, a gold pot. You see him as an opportunity, like you always have done, let's be honest. Your main talking point has always been your unusual relationship with Marilyn Manson, because every interviewer brings it up and has always brought it up since you, since back in the day. He is what is keeping you relevant. Not Westworld, not 
Frozen 2. Not any of the other bollocks you've been doing. Can't sing, you ain't going anywhere with that. Especially not when you're dressing up like your abuser. The only thing keeping you relevant at the moment is Marilyn Manson. And everyone knows it's true. I'm done trying to censor myself with this. If I sound harsh and this is the first video of mine you're watching, I don't care. I'm making the, this video for my followers and for anyone who has a brain cell or two. Yeah, Evan's just a liar. She's a pathological liar. It's almost insane how easily and carelessly she makes these things up and we know that they're lies because they've been proven to be lies anyway i'm wishing manson all the luck with the lawsuit and wishing for everyone to be happy because we need that right now we need a lot of positive energy god forbid i get a bit of positive energy for a change i've only got two more days of being a teenager and that's just already messing my mind up <laughs> It was a quick thought, I was just so angry, I was like, just get me tripod, get me phone, let's record this shit right now. Uh, something cool coming soon, on, a, on another channel with someone. I uh, will get this video out right now, so it's 7th of March now, and something's cool, something cool is coming soon, so. Yeah, get the words out, Carrie, you bloody idiot. Anyway, uh, as always, stay beautiful, stay strong, and stay true, I haven't said that in ages, it's kind of cringe. Is it cringe? I don't know. I just, I just, I just don't know anymore. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Evan Rachel Wood is a liar. Il Magar is a con artist. Marilyn Manson is innocent. Goodbye. <laughs>